Ladies and gentlemen of the French Parliament and Senate, Madam Mayor of Belleau, generals, ladies and gentlemen, regional department councils, veterans, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to stand on these hallowed grounds with you today as we gather to remember the brave young men, German, American, and French, who fought in these fields and within these woods in 1918. Each year, we gather here to honor their sacrifice of so many. It is our duty to ensure we continue to memorialize their sacrifice. We bring our sons and daughters. We bring our young men and women who serve in uniform today so they may comprehend and appreciate the ultimate sacrifice. To recognize what they gave in the name of freedom and liberty. Here in the tranquil and beautiful French countryside, it is difficult to visualize the fierce storm of combat during that late spring and summer 99 years ago. These pristine fields and peaceful woods gave way to the thunder of artillery, the squall of intense machine gun fire, and the hail of rifle fire. Though cratered earth and splintered trees, these men fought with grenades, bare hands, and their bayonets. Here, a generation of young men gave their full devotion to their nations and to their fellow citizens. As German soldiers pushed towards Paris that spring, the United States Marines were called upon for the first time on such a scale. The 4th Marine Brigade, as part of the United States 2nd Division, rushed to the front lines towards the sound of the guns. Marines of the 5th and 6th Marine Regiments and the 6th Marine Machine Gun Battalion hurried eagerly to support our allies and to provide some relief after their own four years of war. The Marines are not the only Americans who fought here valiantly. Courageous United States Army soldiers fought with courage to secure the victory here, a triumph that significantly contributed to the preserving of freedom and relative peace. The legacy of the United States Marine Corps, which forged right here in Bella Wood. The service of thousands of Marines in these fields and in these woods gave birth to our modern day Marine Corps and ensured our victories for the last century. The Marines of today's generation look to the examples of the Marines who fought here. They know that if they emulate the fighting spirit, courage, and character of the Marine forefathers, they will uphold that legacy. The legacy of the Marines and soldiers who served here is represented by the perfect white crosses and flawless stars of David. On these 42 and a half acres rest the souls of 2,289 Americans. Upon the walls of the chapel are 1,060 Americans missing in action. In total, 3,345 Americans are memorialized here. 2,870 soldiers, two sailors, and with their Marine brothers, 447. Beyond these grounds rest the souls of many more Americans who died and fought here of French and German, who courageously faced the gauntlet of intense combat. These men made a global sacrifice. They hoped it would be the last of such a sacrifice. Now as allies, we can continue to strive for peace and to deter aggression alongside our strong and loyal French and German allies, so that our young men and women of today may not have to make the same sacrifice. As we reflect on these examples of brave soldiers and Marines, let us hold tight to the courage that stands for what is virtuous, to make the sacrifice necessary to uphold our principles of liberty and freedom, and stand together as eternal allies and partners. Semper Fidelis, and God bless.